interesting. Should I wear the hat? I think I wore the hat for my first January split video. No, you can't see my eyes. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liv if you're new here and today we are going over January's workout split and we're going to talk about February's totally revamped split because I have come to some conclusions, okay? If you want to know exactly how my January went workout wise, if I followed my split and how I'm changing like half of the things going forward into February, then keep watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also comment where you guys are from because I'm starting to get an idea of like who's watching and from where and that's kind of cool. So what city and state are you in? So here's my workout split from january and you want to know something let me just sum this up in one sentence i've come to a conclusion i think going forward i just want to train like an athlete i feel like i was in the best shape of my life when i was like running track in high school and i know high school a long time ago but that's when I was in the best shape, when I was doing full functional body workouts. And that is like just this realization that I've had in the past week or so. I'm seeing that like how important that is for me to utilize my entire body when I'm doing workouts because it strengthens your core, it strengthens like everything that you're working on. Functional workouts just meaning like it's using multiple muscle groups instead of just isolated, you know, a lat pull down versus like throwing something on the ground or ropes or the TRX bands or like there's so many other functional things you could be doing and I think that like training like an athlete going forward is going to get me some more results that I want to see so sticking with that theme we've made some revisions okay we've made some big revisions to February's split January's split is as follows uh Monday we were supposed to be doing legs and glutes with a sauna. Tuesday, we were supposed to be doing abs and Pilates and run three miles. Wednesday, we were supposed to run four miles, which was supposed to be like our rest day, but you can still run. Uh, Thursday was Pilates full body. Friday was legs and quads, incline walk. Saturday was chest and shoulders and Pilates. Sunday was back and tries and run three miles. That's a lot. I don't think that it was actually that efficient. Ultimately, I did nine days of this and by the ninth day, I was exhausted. My body was just like not functioning anymore. I think I felt pretty good as far as like how my physique was starting to feel and look, but I was just so exhausted. Like I could not wake up that next week after that. Um, and get things done. So then I just started like kind of falling off slowly I also did not incorporate like any of those miles the running just fell off immediately because it was just too hard to run It's been freezing. I think if it gets a little bit warmer outside I'm gonna start running more but I'll show you guys how I incorporate running in my new split because Putting it on this list as something I needed to check off was just an absolute fail let's just be real <laughs> even though i said i'm doing functional stuff i still am also going to break it up by day something i did like about this was um the friday saturday sunday monday focus i loved how that played out my muscles were never too sore to do the next thing like it was perfectly spaced out so i'm keeping friday being like quad focused saturday chest and shoulder focused sunday back and try focused and Monday legs and glutes focused. Now, that being said, I'm not just doing isolated movements anymore. I'm incorporating other things that are, like I said, train like an athlete. My idea of that is going to be like more full body movements and exercises that get me really excited. Uh, honestly, things like Pilates, like Pilates pulls in so many different aspects, different muscle groups and helps you work out a lot of different things at once while still having like a lower body focus or a shoulder focus or whatever you may be doing that day. Anyway, I took this, I learned from it. She's trashed now because February brings us new ideas and new inspiration. Here's my new February split and I will show you guys this and I'll actually make a prettier one on Canva and show you guys that at the end of this video, I'll post it up. Going into February, I have five ideas that I'm just gonna kind of keep strong through the whole month. I wanna do functional workouts. I wanna do heavy, heavy water intake and I wanna do no desserts or treats. I'll come back to that, I'm explaining. Instead of having specific like run this, Pilates this day, Every day that I go to the gym, I would like to challenge myself to run in the beginning and Pilates at the end. So 
that's just gonna be somewhere I leave a little note at the bottom of my like quad day. It'll have a note tab and on there I can write, ran a mile in this pace, did 20 minutes of Pilates, did 30 minutes of Pilates, did 10 minutes of that, like whatever I did that day, I can just add it in. But my goal would be to do it every day because what I found is I actually took two rest days and then the days that I did go to the gym, I started by running then I hit my workout like I, with the machines and gym and weights and everything. And then at the end, I was just like so pumped and excited and had the energy that I went and finished it off with Pilates. And like I was like throwing like a medicine ball and squatting or like doing walking lunges across the gym, stuff like that. And I felt so much better. Like I really, really liked that. I'm going to basically have my days set up like this now first of all i'm incorporating two rest days because i incorporated none last time i had this lofty idea that i was just gonna run even on a rest day but that's just not realistic when you have a full-time job so tuesday and thursday are both going to be rest days i picked two days during my work week because i only work four days a week two of them now i don't need to worry about getting up extra early one of those days i don't work till 12 so i'll work out that morning and then the one in the middle was wednesday and i'll tell you guys how i'm how i'm doing that monday sticking with glutes i don't work till 12 we can get in there we can go to the gym hopefully start with a run glute focus workout hopefully end with pilates if i hit glutes that day i am checking it off and i'm feeling productive tuesday we're resting wednesday i just wrote option option right there what that means is not optional to go to the gym or work out it means option like do whatever you want so if I get there and I want to just run three miles, great. If I get there and I just want to stretch and sauna, fine. If I want to do another leg day, sounds good. So Wednesday is get your butts to the gym and do something. This might become a problem when I like can't think of what I want to do, but we'll just see how it goes. We're going to play it out this, this month and adjust accordingly in March. Thursday is going to be a rest day again. And then Friday we are sticking with our quads and legs because that's awesome. Been loving that. Again, all of these we're starting with run then quads and legs, lower body, Pilates or something at the end. Saturday, chest day and shoulders. As long as I hit that meat of the workout, I'm checking it off. Same with Sunday, back and tries, checking it off if I do the meat of the workout, hopefully starting and ending with my two other goals. That is my new split going into it. I have 92 days until my wedding, you guys, which is so crazy. It's February 9th. I am, my goals here, like if you, I should have said this in the beginning, but if you missed my original reason for having this like strict split and like starting to really want to see results, I'm getting married May 11th and we are really down on the clock now, but we're not so squished that I'm like trying to lose 20 pounds in a week. Like not none of that. Okay. We're being realistic and we're just kind of changing lifestyle habits and training a little bit more intense than usual to see desired results in a healthy amount of time. Yeah, I have a bridal shower in a week that I would like to look good for. I have a little cutout dress. I wanna look good in that and it's like pretty tight. <laughs> and then I have my bachelorette in April. A lot of cute outfits there that I need to be like for. So praying that I can be good for that as well. And then worst case scenario, I don't get it together until literally in May, but that's fine. May 11th. I want to be good for my wedding so we have like three big things coming up plus i have two weddings in march that are not mine like other weddings and i want to look good for those wear the nice dresses that i bought for those so i should probably get into the sweets thing really quick i did not touch on that yet i want to have no sweets in february i'm having a bridal shower in a week and i'm gonna allow myself to eat sweets on that day that's fine for me sugar is like a serious addiction and i understand it's not like other addictions but i do think that when you break down the root of how to overcome an addiction it's all kind of the same basic principles right there's a pre-contemplation stage where you're not even worried about it you're addicted to the thing and you don't have any plan of changing it there's contemplation where you're like mm, this might be a problem planning is when you decide i think it's a problem and this is how i might start to fix it and then you start implementing and and you could kind of go through those processes, right? So but recently we started rationing, like portioning out my sugar for the day so that if I already ate like the baggie full of sweethearts or vanilla wafers or whatever, then I was done. Like I couldn't have any more. And that really helped. So if you're in the same boat and you're looking for like that first step of like implementing, try that because that really kicked something off in my head. 
and this is the first time ever like this week like these this past couple of days when i have thought to myself okay maybe i don't need a dessert every day in my lunch or maybe i could say no if someone brought cupcakes to the office like i think for the first time ever i'm thinking that and i'm really excited about it so i know i need to kick the habit sugar stores directly as fat directly as fat like that's how sugar is stored it has been linked to causing cancer it causes breakouts it causes mood swings all the things i don't want to happen are happening because of my excess intake of sugar and so i am really serious about taking it off my menu for the next month and i'm going to see how i feel because i feel like if i'm working out this hard and not seeing all the results that i want to see it's because of something and i think it's because of this and i mean this goes even further than just looks um my eye doctor told me that something to do with my like gluten or sugar intake is throwing off my like uh, balance and causing inflammation and actually affecting my eyesight my vision so yeah there's just like a lot <laughs> to unpack here as far as like what sugar can do to you and all the hundreds of reasons that you should stop having it in your diet i think i'm finally at a point where i can maybe start making those changes and i'm excited to see if I can and the difference that it makes. I'm excited to start training more functional. If it gets warmer out, I want to start running outside. I want to actually go to the track and do that. This is like my whole like training like an athlete thing, which I'll probably make a whole separate video on that and my actual workouts that I'm going to do to achieve that. But I want to run on the track and do laps and do different things around the laps or sprints or whatever it is. And just overall like use my whole body together and use multiple muscles at once so that I can actually like achieve like a strong solid core and i don't know if this was very helpful for you guys i don't know if it's ranty or long but i am overdue for a video it's been two weeks and i promised you guys that i would give you an update check in let you know how january went and also tell you exactly how i'm going to revise it and give you my february split as well so that's what i'm doing I'm keeping my promise to you guys and that's yeah that's that if you guys have any questions at all again please comment where you're from and also let me know in the comments if you're implementing um, anything like that I didn't talk about or any other ideas that you have for February incorporating into your split. I'm going to be posting my actual split that I create on Canva right here so you guys can like screenshot it if you want to. And yeah, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!